Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time zone you're in. This is Jess from Audio Plugin Deals, and today we're having a look at Phrasebox by Venom Mode. So Phrasebox is basically a phrase arpeggiator that really allows you to kind of get into the nitty gritty of creating your own, um, and it has kind of its own kind of piano roll, um, which allows you to create like really expressive and layered kind of like melodies from simple chords. Um, and there aren't a lot, unlike, you know, traditional sort of styles of arpeggiators, there's not any kind of like length or timing. You can kind of create your own length loops and all that jazz. Um, and there's also like control, as you can see here, to kind of allow it to basically kind of make it the way you want it to go. And you, we also have things like a lock to key option. So it means that any of your kind of like transposed kind of notes uh, in your chords will stick to the right key as well. There's quite a lot of really weird functions. We'll have a look at a few of them um, today um, and there will be plenty left for you to explore. <laughs> so yeah, um, let's get started. So if you're interested in deals just like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and the notification bell. Okay, so this is Phrasebox. So there's quite a lot going on on this screen. So I'm really just going to cover the basics of how to use this because um, we could go into a lot of detail. As you can see here, there's quite a lot of different different things going on. So I have made a chord, very basic chord progression here and we're going to see what it will do. So we haven't got a patch made right now. So we're just going to try one of the presets to start with. So we'll go for the Moonlight one. Here we go. So let's see what happens when we play it. As you can see it's playing the chord progression. Like so. So the way it works is rows one to eight correspond to the eight notes in a chord. So these chords that I have done only have four. So the, only the top four rows will really be doing anything. Um, I think it was four. Hang on. Yeah, four rows. Uh, four note chords. Um, so it corresponds to about eight notes in a chord. Um, the presets all seem to have different phrases as well which can sort of vary the pattern, so. Which is pretty cool. So, what you can also do is you can lock to key. So you can basically, if you're creating your own pattern, if we just go back to the initial patch for a moment, you can choose the key to lock to. So if you're writing chord progressions in like C major like me, <laughs> so basic, um, you can lock it so that when you do the randomized notes, for example, if I'm going to make just a random pattern here, um, let's see what this sounds like. Yeah. So again, I'm going to make that. Where are we? I'm going to make the steps going to be 16 and 16. That'll be an entire bar of 4-4. Four, four. Um, we'll come back to that in a second. Um, so... There you go, see? Um, so there we go. So that's corresponding to all these. Um, so you can you can do different. So you can sort of the programming. Basically, you're just kind of like creating patterns like this. And these guys here all correspond to sort of like. So you can have like this one be like. Oops. This one to be like the highest note to generate, uh, lowest note. Um, and you can also make them random. You can make a random note appear in different areas. 
so then it makes it a little bit different to mix up. And that's what locks it into key. So because I've clicked lock to key, the random notes that I've put in there will stay in key. Um, so they will not go out of key. Um, which leads me to my next part with the transpose. You could transpose uh, each note. So you see these notes here, you can transpose them. So you can see that the little down arrow represents kind of the, the sort of transposing. Um, like so. So let's listen to that. Yeah, so it just kind of makes it sound a bit, well, gives some variety. You can also change the octaves, so you can put things up an octave or down an octave. Don't know why I keep going for those guys, but there we go. <laughs> so yeah, so here we have the playback. So what I was doing there was obviously locked a key. Uh, speed, you can change obviously the sort of speed of your notes. Make them eighth notes if you wanted to. And obviously you could make them really fast as well if you really want to. This probably will not sound good. <laughs> I knew that wouldn't sound good. Uh, yeah. So it's very easy to kind of build your own and you can sort of change how many steps you have. Um, kind of per bar. Um, so at the moment 16 to 16 is one bar um, of 4-4. Four, four. Uh, my MIDI math is not the best so if I'm wrong on that front do correct me. <laughs> um, so there we go. So I mean, the playback, you have a couple of different sort of things. There's quite a lot you can do. This button here, I quite like, which is a randomizer. So you can literally randomize. It'll do it for you. So that's made a heck of a lot there. But the good thing is, you can not just randomize the notes, you can also choose what it randomizes. So you can say just the notes and the modifiers, or the modifiers, velocities, transposition, octave chances. Now chances here is another thing as well. So chances kind of opens up how likely it is that a note will be played in a certain way and things like that. So it's cool to kind of muck around with that. So like a random octave, the chance is quite, quite high for that one. Um, like that or random transposing, random velocity of the note, things like that. I've got your swing there. Uh, the note generation here, um, it even has at the bottom nice little sort of notes to kind of show you like what each thing does, which I like, I like that about the interface because sometimes, like myself, you have some knowledge, but sometimes you forget or like to know what things are like without having to look them up again. Um, so it's good to have a little bit of help at the bottom. <laughs> um, Short notes, short precise help tips. It's good, I like that. Um, so yeah, so the note density, which is how many notes are generated. So quite a lot there. Um, obviously transposing, velocity. it's just the basic things here. Um, this is syncing to the DAW. This is important, this one. So that is good, we want that. Um, otherwise this option kind of like loop freeform. Um, I prefer to keep it on sync to DAW. <laughs> Um, and like a latch to hold the notes you play. So it fills missing notes. Um, key switching, and there's a couple of other options like the active range, um, CC pass through and velocity pass through. 
Um, so there's quite a lot. There's so much customization with this, which is great. Um, we'll have a listen to a couple more presets so you can get the idea of what it sounds like. Um, I mean, there's some fantastic patterns already in here, but it, you see, you can see how easy it is to kind of build your own. It takes seconds, basically. And like what I was doing there with the kind of like, I mean, I would press the random button there, but you can go in and sort of make a pitch bend, modulation wheel, expression, volume. You can customize everything. Um, so you can see the velocities, can you can alter that the way you want to. It's like arpeggios on steroids, basically. <laughs> you can kind of go for it. Like, because I, I, I love using arpeggios myself, so I'm definitely going to be using this more often. Um, to kind of create, because you can do it not even just with synths, you can do it with obviously orchestral instruments, uh, things like that. So you could have like your strings doing random arpeggios. Um, all you're doing is basically you're mapping it to an instrument. And it's different in every doll, but with Cubase, what you have to do is so I, I loaded up Massive X, and here where it has sort of the all MIDI inputs, you have the choose phrase box. And then whatever your pattern is, which is what I did there, I dragged it up to here into phrase box so it's going to be playing it like so um, and that's kind of how it's kind of worked and obviously you put on the monitor as well uh, like that so let's have a couple of uh, a couple more presets to listen to so we're going to go with the mono one maybe decay see what that sounds like sure I like that one very much. <laughs> uh, clouds sounds nice. I think this one's meant for it. The, these ones here, so we've got the presets here. That one does say it's designed for piano, but I'm going to use it with a synth. I like that one, it's quite nice. So that's pretty cool, that one. Uh, chords. So there's one specifically designed for chords. Um, Sherbert. <laughs> Be good for EDM that one. pretty awesome a um, couple more we'll have a look at before we end this um, triads got rainfall let's have a listen to that one Awesome. It's just it's just such creativity with the arpeggios. I really love that. It's really really good. Um, we have a glissando here. 
Crazy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I was just really going to cover just the basics of it because it's quite a complex piece of kit there, but um, it is virtually very, well, very simple to be able to just create arpeggios within seconds to add into your track. Um, so yeah, I really, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. Um, it's really fun to play with. Um, so that has been Phrasebox. Um, and we'll see you next time.